today we're going to do another Yum Box. This is the Super Yum Box from Universal Yum. And we don't know which month it is, or which country it's for this month, so let's find out. I'm Jada the Cat. I'm Lucy. I'm Riley. Let's do it. Italy! Italy! Let's see what we got from Italy. Stickers. You? Greetings from Italy, birth, birthplace of the world's most valuable painting. Oh, Mona Lisa. That's it? Mona Lisa. She got a chocolate face. <laughs> this. Nothing. I have to go to Italy. So here's the map of Italy. Do you have the marker? And there's the scorecard. Let me see if we like it or not. Can I do the last one? Sure. Can we write our names on it? Yeah. Let's see what we got. Explore Italy. Nothing art, trend setting fashion, and map watering cuisine. Italy in 60 seconds. What you might know about Italy. Simply put, Italy is obsessed with wine. The country produces the most wine of any country in the world, nearly one-fifth of global production. All 20 regions of Italy make their own varieties from red Chianti to bubbling Prosecco. What you might not know. Gianno Bartoli, one of the greatest Italian cyclists of all time, was also a secret hero of World War II. Under the guise of training, he helped countless Jewish families escape German occupation of Italy by supplying them with forged travel documents he covered covertly hidden in his handlebars. Hmm. Next, I make for the chin. Let's see if it's a beef right here. Okay. Put on the best. Some trivia. Here's the horse. Fizzy lemon candy. This? Oh wait, no. Start here. Italian black truffle potato chips. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, okay. You got to do it. Okay, while you're opening it, Italian's world famous truffle is now in a chip. Go for it. Italy didn't get its reputation as a global food capital for nothing. The proof is in the pizza, the pasta, and even the potato chips. That's why we're kicking off our Italian adventure with these. What's so special about them, you ask? The answer lies in the flavor. Black truffle. Fries for their earthly tang feeds or gourmet fungi are basically the Italy version of buried treasure. No, really. They grow underground. They grow say. underground? Black truffle skip. Yeah. That's the flavor. Locals spend hours scouring forests with trained dogs in the hopes that they'll sniff some out at the effort. And all the effort is worth it as they're one of the most valuable foods in all of Italy. A 3.3 pound bag, a 3.3 pound one from Tuscany once sold for $333,000. Fortunately, you don't need trained dogs or over a quarter million dollars to discover Italy's most highly coveted flavor. You just need to open this bag, dig in, and kick off your Delicious Italian adventure in the high gear. Love some cheese. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Oh, that's a hot. Don't like it? Uh-uh. Me either. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, like you bad. Oh, okay. You want to spend that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. first one's a no. So that was a heck no. Oh, I found the tiny little There you go. No, sorry. There you go. Busy lemon candy. Like Sprite and a hard candy. Italians are fizz whizzes. Seriously, all Italians in Italy, every. or at restaurants in Italy, 
Every table gets a bottle of fizzy water or aqua frizzante. You'd have us you'd have to specifically ask for non frizzante to get still water. In local markets, shelves overflow with an endless variety of seltzer flavors, not to mention beloved soft drinks like lemon casosas and orange aranciata, and let's not forget prosecco. So considering the local fizz fascination, this fizzy lemon candy makes a lot of sense and will make you feel super, super bubbly. Ready? I'm tasting the crumbs. Two, so, three, so good. So three, three, two, three. Oh, no. That's like Sprite. I'm gonna mine with Oh, I got the fizz. I'm gonna mine it next, I guess. Mercury? Um, can I do it? Soda. Sorry, I'm gonna open this one. This lemon candy, really good. It, it, this, I yes, just for it. me. Mm -hmm. Yes, for you too, Beth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe it's just this. Mm-hmm. Well. Fizziness. This one's the best so far. Which we only did two. Up next we got lemon and pepper tarwellini. Italy's most iconic snack with a kick. Walk down the US snack aisle and you'll see chips on chips on chips. Chips on chips on chips. The same is true in Italy except with Tarali. These crunchy bread spirals are an Italian go-to, available in countless flavors. We're not exaggerating. When putting together this box, we tried rosemary, coffee, and even egg varieties before we fell in love with this lemon and pepper one. With sweet citrus and a kick of cracked peppers, this tarali is totally top notch. It's like a ring. Mm -hmm. So eat my other one. It is. Citrus and cracked peppers. Lemon and pepper tarani. Not bad though. Mm -hmm. I'll give it an okay. Bye, what about you? I'm gonna go okay too. I kind of like the pepper, but the lemon is good. I'm still not done. What about you? The other one. What about you? Ketchup potato chips with an extra crispy take on the classic condiment. 30 years ago, potato <laughs> chips were scorned in Italy. Without the traditional peer of tarali, tar tarali or biscotti, they had zero footing in the snack market until best friends Alfredo Moratti and Andrea Romano came along. With the mission of bringing chips to Italy, they started their business. America's Amica, producing both traditional flavors and totally new ones like ketchup. Before we tell you if they succeeded or not, we think you should try a chip or two. Okay, you've had some great news. You just tasted the current number one chip brand in Italy. It tastes like burnt. I mean, it smells like barbecue chips. Number one chip brand in Italy. Amica chips. Ketchup flavor. Yeah, good. I don't think it's more. Smell. I don't like pepper. What did you? Wow, it tastes like a ketchup hot dog. Mm -hmm. You see, I'm gonna do yours if you did my like smiley face. Another one? Like that smiley face? No, it's like a yeah, okay. face. Okay. Okay. 
Ketchup's not my favorite. Ketchup? Vanilla? That's a kind of piece of Another one? I'm gonna get ketchup chips. Oh, okay, my turn to get orange zest carrot cake. Ooh, I love carrot cake. Found it. Yeah, that one. Oh, I can't wait to drink this one. Marvelously moist carrot cake with citrus zing. You're probably familiar with carrot cake, but really just one version of the carrot cake. Loaded with spices and nuts and topped with cream cheese frosting. Part <laughs> but then there's a time style carrot cake. Free of all the bells and whistles. At least take highlights the natural sweetness of the carrots That's with a dash cool. of orange zest. Yeah. Get ready to discover a That's whole new kind of carrot cake craving. Doesn't it look like foam? Oh, it's like a spongy cake. Sponge cake? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Orange zest carrot cake. Hazelnut milk chocolate bar. Fall in love with Italy's number one chocolate bar. If we're talking hazelnuts, there's no better place in the world to go than the Piedmont region of northern Italy. The native hazelnuts are prized for their excellence. They're smaller, sweeter, and nuttier than those grown in Turkey or the United States. That might explain why this rich chocolate bar filled to the brim with both the Piedmont hazelnuts is the top, top selling chocolate bar in Italy and why we're fully addicted to it. Tastiest almond cookie in all of Italy. Ready for the world's tastiest love story? The sale between these classic cookies begins in, in 1719 in when a young couple overheard that a cardinal from Milan was visiting their church. Wanting to prepare, to prepare him a treat, they improvised a cookie recipe using just the apricot kernels, sugar, and egg whites they had on hand. The cardinal loved them so much so loved them so much so he blessed the cookie the couple to a long happy union. Not only did they stay happily hitched, their cookies went on to become an Italian icon. So are you feeling the love? Better yet, are you tasting it? It's like a Hershey's. Smells good. Very 
tiramisu cream milk chocolate ball. The beloved dessert just got even more luscious. It's just a giant round chocolate ball. Every modern Italian restaurant serves tiramisu. But in the early 1960s, it was only served by one. Le Brescia. <laughs> Brescherie and Treviso. According to legend, owner Adam Campiol was recovering from childbirth when she asked that pastry chef to whip up a pick-me-up. So he combined lady fingers, marshmallow cheese, and cocoa powder, creating tiramisu, which literally means pick-me-up. The flavor combination became an overnight icon, which you'll get to taste in this luxurious chocolate Filled with coffee-infused cocoa cream. Coffee? Coffee-infused. It's because she opens her top. Little chocolate nugget. Is it delicious? It smells kind of like coffee. No, I'll get inside. No. Inside chocolateiness. I don't know which one's better. Mm. The um, soda one or this one? Yeah. Don't love this one. So, okay. It's a little too coffee ish, isn't it? Well, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't really like chocolate. I mean, coffee cream. Yeah, I'll give it a man. Not a huge coffee candy person. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> I did my funny. What's my good chocolate? Okay, now I'm going to to open it. Tomato and oregano bruschetta. Your scrumptious ticket to Rome. I think we need your pomegranates. Locals will tell you that the country's favorite country bread bruschetta oh. is a is a tradition as old as Rome itself. They're not exaggerating. Back in ancient Rome, olive growers would bring their harvest to a local press and sample their fresh olive oil on a slice of crispy bread. Modern folks top your cheddar with everything from pesto to salami to our favorite fresh tomato and oregano. So ready to crunch into this 2,000 year old tradition? Look at the numbers. On average, Italians buy 12.5 million tons of dark chocolate a year. And just under 4.5 million tons of milk chocolate. So why is dark chocolate so popular? For that, we don't need to provide any numbers. Just the yum in front of you. Golden ticket? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. With raspberry sweetness and crunchy almond nuttiness, it is by far the most effective and decadent way to answer that question. Okay. Miro raspberry and almond dark chocolate bar. Uh, Pretty. Pretty. I'm probably not gonna like it because I don't like dark chocolate. Ew! Uh, Oh, yeah, right away that fell off good. What? Yeah. What? I don't like 
dark chocolate. I would like it, but I don't like dark chocolate. Cranberry Brometti, baked fresh with real Italian cranberries. Now for our crumbly berry concoction. Many countries, many countries prefer their cookies soft and chewy, but Italy is a huge exception. Why are crumbly cookies in the local go-to? Because they're all the better for dunking into the country's favorite drinks coffee, wine, and even milk. Before you dig into these crunchy cookies, you're gonna make them, we recommend you pour yourself a drink. Whatever you choose to dunk them in, these are best enjoyed the Italian way. Baked, fresh, and really Italian pancakes. Ready? Chocolate with strawberry pop rocks. Okay. No. Complete with luxurious Italian cream. The strawberries in the town of Nimai are anything but ordinary. They're volcanic, grown in volcanic crater, where sunlight is ample and wind is minimal. The berries are plumper and juicier than those grown in anywhere in anywhere else in Italy. Cool, huh? Here's something even cooler. These luscious milk chocolate truffles with explosive strawberry pop rocks. They take volcanic strawberries to a level even Nimai can't achieve. Okay, milk chocolate with strawberry pop rocks. Look, strawberry pop rocks? Yeah. You don't listen? I want this, but I don't want this. Wait, I want to open it. Italian fruit jellies. Fruit jelly. Oh, that's the country's softest, juiciest candy ever. You may have had jelly candies before, but you'll you've likely never had Italian jelly. So 
Jalezy. Jalezy. G L E E S. Jalezy. Jalezy. Italian Jalezy. Made with the real Italian fruit juices. These sugar encrusted jellies are supremely, supremely soft, delicate, and zingy. It's no wonder they fly at the shelves in Italy. We sent an assortment of raspberry, strawberry, blueberry, and gooseberry. So we got only a strawberry and gooseberry, looks like. Oh, it's for a sour grape like berry, which are perfect for sharing. Or you could always keep these bite sized bites as your own juicy secret. That was it. Mine is smooth. Good. I'll trade you a bite for a bite. Here, I'll cut yours in half. Oh, this is so good. Let's go, go. Gooseberry. Rosemary potato chips. Courtesy of the Aromatic Gardens of Italy. The secret to long life, these chips. Maybe. Italians have long used rosemary to treat muscle pain, improve memory and circulation, and even slow the brain's aging process. And now researchers believe it to be the reason residents of Italy's Campania region are living 20 years over the national average. We'll have to wait to see if that holds true. But for now, we'll happily benefit from these chips' lightness, crispiness, and herbal addictiveness. Rosemary potato chips. Almost rosemary flavor. Pretty light. Italian canestrilini, Northern Italy's crisp shortbread specialty. While many of Italy's most mouth-watering concoctions have spread across the globe, pizza, fettuccine, tiramisu, the list goes on. Some just as delicious treats have flown under the international radar. Take these flower-shaped canestrilli, canestrilli shortbread cookies. In Genoa, they're just as popular today as they were in the 12th century when they were a must-have wedding gift. But few outside Italy have heard, yeah, have even heard of them. Let's change that. Go ahead and get to know one of Italy's oldest, sweetest, and crumbliest secrets. So it's crumbly? Italian canestrolini. I can't put that. I get rid of okay because it's too dry. Yeah. Daddy, nothing? It's too dry to try to do Yeah, I like it. I like it, I just, it's too dry. I don't like it, it's so good to be done. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it feels like this? No, it's not. Mm -hmm. 
next is the candy ginger and lemon dark chocolate. A bit sweet, a bit spicy, deeply decadent. When life gets you lemons, you make lemonade. That's what much of the world will tell you. An Italian might say something a little different. Take those lemons and combine them with ginger. The sweet and spicy flavor is a classic Italian combo. Used in every kind of recipe you can imagine. Soda, roast chicken, honey cake, candy, and of course chocolate. That brings us to our own secret, own life secret. When life gets you lemon and ginger chocolate, you savor every last bite. I get the little on this because I already know what you're going to say. I like it. One, two, two. One. Go down. No. Italy's famous snack with a fennel twist. To kick off a traditional Italian meal, you start with an aperitivo. Guests gather to share light conversation, a glass or two of wine, and a few handfuls of snack meant to whet their appetites for the most substantial course to come. These crisp fennel infused tarali are delicious to sample. Reward those new to the Aperitivo game. It's dangerously easy to accidentally down more than a few pounds. There's more another for wrong. Huh? Black pepper and prosciutto bread bites. Taste Italy's world renowned smoked ham. After the aperitivo comes the antipasto. Still a starter course, but a bit heavier. With small sandwiches and white sausage and cheese, you can make an appearance. If it's an extra special occasion, so will spec Italy's famous salt cured, lightly smoked prosciutto. Here you'll taste the ham sensation on the super crunchy bread, paired with a kick of pepper. Each bite is ham tastic but doesn't contain any real meat. It looks like a <gasps> It tastes like ham. Pizza rings like the Italians. Now for their primo or main course, pizza. This Italian sensation is no doubt a dinner time staple. But did you know that there's only 300 years? But it's only 300 years old. It was only in 18th century Naples that locals first used tomatoes, buffalo mozzarella, basil, and olive oil to craft the modest pizza we know and love. And now, look, er, look how far we've come. Now we got crispy, airy pizza rings that taste just like the real thing. It's like a Cheeto. Mm. Pizza Cheeto. Let 
Chocolate and tiramisu cream cake. Each moist, creamy bite is Italian ecstasy. Do you have any room left? We hope so, because you definitely don't want to miss out on a, on a dessert locally dubbed the dulce. While traditional tiramisu gets a dusting of cocoa powder, this young gives the treat a total chocolate makeover. Instead of lady fingers sandwiching the luscious mascarpone cream, it's got light and fluffy chocolate cake and coating everything is yet another layer of melt in your mouth Italian chocolate. Wait, I'll say it indeed. No, melt in your mouth. Oh. Let me just go. There's Oh, that was a good one. Mmm! It's not good. Mm -hmm. In Italy, you won't find locals eating bacon and eggs. It's all about cookies and biscuits for breakfast. Yes. We just like Tuscany. Yes, yes. People used to dunk them into red wine, but nowadays, a piping hot cup of espresso is nationwide go to. Done. Okay, <laughs> well, Australia. We can vote for Australia. Yeah, Australia. Yeah, Australia. So, do you check mark? Um, so, what was our favorite? My favorite was. I have no clue. I have like three favorites. My favorite was the cake. Okay, the chocolate cake? Yeah. Mine? Can I do more than one? Sure. Chocolate cake, the fizzy one, and the coffee. Just so that I'm going to do it. The coffee. Eight. Which is. Uh, so, what's the worst? I'm saying the first one we had. Yeah. Is the worst. yeah. Can I have this again? The chocolate? Or the coffee? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And the weirdest. The weird, the ketchup. Yeah, the oh, ketchup. Yeah, that's kind of weird. But okay. I still kind of like this. We went for Australia. Yeah. Well, that's Italy. What is this? Hopefully, we get Australia next time. <gasps> there is this other one. Go ahead. Bye. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell button, and bye. bye.